greatest city in the world. It's The Late Show with David Letterman. Tonight, Matthew McConaughey, comedian Gary Muldeer. Our next guest is a very funny man and a good friend of ours. He'll be uh, playing, playing at the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am Tournament later this week. Please welcome back Gary Muldeer. Been, uh, doing stand up comedy. Oh, gosh. You know, I've really I've been doing comedy for 40 years. I've never had to do stand up. Is that right? I swear to God. What, 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 props, what did guitar. you call it? It's not really stand up? What you I did? do Johnny Cash music and I walk around and I yell, I walk around the stage and I yell jokes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what were things like when you began? Oh, man. It was working all music clubs. Mm -hmm. we were, there were no comedy clubs. I, first of all, I was in folk music groups. Uh, Ledbetters back in L.A. when there were people like Steve Martin around and uh, the Smothers Brothers, people like that, we were, we were doing comedy. Steve and Martin and you were roommates for a That's while, right? That's right. And Michael Johnson, we worked, yeah, we did. And he uh, mentioned you in his uh, book, Born Standing Up. It's been really nice. It's, yeah. it's, been, a, it's been a great plug. Well, tell yeah. that story. He was writing for the Smothers Brothers and he did, wasn't coming up with anything. And Tommy Smothers said to him one day, we need a joke for this bit. And uh, if you don't come up with something, we're going to probably have to let you go or something to that effect. So he went upstairs to, to write, and he thought of a great line, but he realized it was from my act. Mm. So he called me and said, I need to use that line. I said, take it. So he took it downstairs. They thought it was brilliant, and it broke his writer's block, and I don't know whatever happened to him. <laughs> Dropped off the edge of the earth. Uh, yeah, I never heard about it. And, and the line, of course, is? Was, oh, God, I, gotta, I had to write it down because I forgot, you know? I had, somebody told me, I carry a lot of stuff with me these <laughs> I'm carrying golf tips because I'm not. I haven't been able, been practicing you'll, you'll be lately. Fine. Yeah. Okay. I've got it right here. Uh, it was a line that. This is what I said. I said, "It has been proven that more Americans watch television than any other appliance." <laughs> <laughs> that was it. It worked. Well, he, that yeah. saved his life. Thank you. Yeah. Oh Tell man. Tell us about this mule deer and moon dog medicine show. Yeah. In I, concert. There are two of them, it says <laughs> underneath there. I had the most hair on television in the 70s, uh -huh. I swear to God. I know I did. I didn't cut it for seven years. I just trimmed it so I could see. It uh -huh. was great. <laughs> and this act was? Uh, we were pretty bizarre. We did comedy and music, and he played keyboards, I played guitar, and we met on stage. We didn't get together socially at all. Mm -hmm. We just kind of met on stage, and whatever had happened, happened. Yeah. And it worked out pretty well for about five years. Right. And what, what became of Moon, Moon Dog? He's in Mexico now. I'm, I'm sh not sure if he can come back in the country or not. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in Mexico, as far as I know. Yeah. Uh, and you've been a bit of movies, too, right? Uh, you know something? This is amazing. You know, the Tonight Show, the old Tonight Show with Carson was so powerful. They never used me with Carson. I was always called when somebody canceled mm -hmm. and there was a guest host. Mm -hmm. Because they hated my guitar, they didn't like my props. So I would get a call like two hours before. And I would go out, and I, my first time I got a call, I was working on the Tony Orlando show, and they called and said, uh, we need somebody to come out. So I went on the show, David Brenner was the guest host, and the next day I got a call to go meet Woody Allen. Wow. And I walked in this giant, uh, like, hangar-like uh, studio. He was sitting down at the end with his assistant on the couch. I walked all the way down, he stood up, introduced me to his assistant, said, uh, are you busy Monday? I said, no. Mm. And he said, well, be, you'll be hearing from us. And I got the part in Annie Hall. Wow. Now, did you get the part, or did your hair get the part? Because there's... <laughs> Actually... <laughs> Where did the check go? Do you remember? <laughs> I get three $30 checks a year, as a matter of fact, from Annie Hall. Now, the, you're, you're the oh. guy, and the, there's a, a scene, uh, Diane Keaton and Woody Allen meet at a, at a uh, health, health food store, yes. or a health food restaurant, yes. on Sunset Boulevard, yes. and the name of it was called... Uh, the, the Source. Yeah, the it, source. Was, it was... Uh, I don't know, is it still there? It's, I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is that my lines were cut out. I went to the premiere, and I was really disappointed. My lines are cut out. You see me mouthing my lines in the back. Yeah. I was, I was talking to a, to a girl about a concert. I said, the concert was great. He blew up her piano and electrocuted uh, a dog. Are you going to fish those sprouts? <laughs> <laughs> that was the line. Electrocuted a dog. That was the Are line. Are you going to finish the Oh, yeah. Sprouts? So that was great. I, I got, a, I got a, my first movie won the Academy Award. Yeah, well, there you go. Con congratulations. Yeah, thank Boy, you very good. much. I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, man.
And you get to play in the big uh, Pebble Beach. This is the old uh, Bing Crosby uh, uh, up there. Yes, at it the, is. The... I'm pretty excited. Clint Eastwood hosts it. He invited me up to play in it. We'll have a big celebrity show on Wednesday night with, like, you know, Ray Romano will be there mm -hmm. and Glenn Fry and... Uh, Michael Bolton, people like that, and I'm going to play, but I'm pretty rusty. I haven't played for a long time. That's why I'm carrying these golf Good idea. With yeah, me. that'll help. Yeah. Uh, and I understand somebody was telling me that you have been fly fishing for 55 years. I have. I've been fly fishing for 55 years. <laughs> I still haven't caught anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Gary Mule, there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with Cheryl Crow.